<laughs> hey, look, no run today, and that's because we've been out here boating, and we got a really cool beer to talk about. I mean, we're in the, the Gulf of Mexico out of Alabama, and this is a... Look, and this is a beer that Laurie Weber brought us, Jay's Bride, uh, Huntsville. Captain Jay, Captain yeah. Jay. From Huntsville. That's right. So check that out right there. Are we going to crack these things or what? Cheating it's hard called, IPA. You got you to be patient out here, Cap. So it's Cheating Hard IPA. It's 6.2% alcohol. It's by Yellowhammer Brewing out of Huntsville, Alabama. Um, look, this this is a classic uh, fishing trip here in the Gulf of Mexico. We've caught one Spanish mackerel. <laughs> and it was Mick who caught it. So, But now you did catch some snapper yesterday. How many we think? We think seven, eight, nine, yeah, something like that. that. It was like ten. Well, let's try this thing out. No glass today because we're out on the boat. Love the can though. Of course, of course, cheating heart is uh, a, a lyric from a famous Hank Williams Senior uh, song out of Montgomery, Alabama. Very famous, very famous uh, look, artist. Look, cheating heart is a tropical twist on the classic IPA with a lush blend of azica and mosaic hops. A passionate ale with a wandering eye. This southern beauty is hard to resist. All right, well, let's try it out. Pretty hopping. And just so everybody knows, we have a true food critic here. So the cap here is a true food critic. He's going to be able to tell us exactly what's going on here with this beer. Well, this is the first beer I've critiqued, but it is a little hoppy compared uh, to my other. You know, I think this is a great IPA. I really do. I mean, it's a smooth IPA. It's not overly hoppy. I, you know, I'm really, I'm really kind of impressed with this. Do um, you experts even know the, the background between uh, why they're called IPAs? No, tell us. I think you know. Tell us. No, IPA, you tell <laughs> us. <laughs> Obviously, the critic here doesn't know. Doesn't know well, the critic but, knows. Well, tell us. It's because they used to, uh, the English used to go to India and all the beer would spoil. So they figured out if they pop, pumped a lot more hops in the barrels, it wouldn't spoil, but it was hoppier, and they were going to India. There you have it. Man, celebrity guests like this, yeah, we, yeah. Gotta, we gotta have these guys more. I mean, they don't just bring the looks and the celebrity status, they bring the intellect that we <laughs> need on this show. I mean, look, I think it's a good beer. I think it's, uh, I mean, I think it's a great beer. I, I mean, in terms of IPAs, this is smooth, it's at 6.2%, it's mm -hmm. not too high gravity. Um, I really like it. Yeah, I do too. I mean, it, you know, and, and it's it's good out of the can. I wonder what it would taste like if, if you had it in a I glass. mine in a chilled mode. Yeah, just to open it up a little bit more, but it's good, I like it. This, I've had this before. I think the can art's fantastic. I like Yellowhammer Brewing Company and- uh, well, Look, usually, I, usually I can yeah, The first one's always extremely, you know, bitter going down. Number two and three are. That's right. Much That's easier. right. Much easier, especially so, since we've been drinking Miller Lite all morning. So it's compared. <laughs> <laughs> so what? So what are we going to grade this one? Look, I think this is easily a four and a half. What about you, Jay? What's the scale? One to five. I'll go four. Four. I'll go four and a quarter. Yes. Just right down the line. But a good beer, definitely worth checking out. Look, anybody that anybody that's looking for a mild IPA. I mean, this the mild to medium IPA, not something that's going to kill you with hops or alcohol. This is the, this is a good one to choose, guys. I'm, I'm, this is one I will choose again. Well, look, we'd love to sit here and talk to you, but we got some fish to catch. That's right. See or you not. Know? Yeah, or not. <laughs>